Our guest will be with us shortly. He's actually in a, a live stream right now on his Twitch page. His name is Mike Leon. Uh, Mike Leon Shreds is his Twitch page, and uh, he's killing it over there along with uh, a, an extensive roster of bands, Cavalier Conspiracy, Soulfly. Uh, the Vortex. We're getting ready. see something happening. Oh, oh okay. Shit. Cool. Perfect. What up? Perfect timing. How's it going, Leonard? Maybe we should have raid music. Should have raid I know. Music. Ian, what's up? How's it going? Oh, I'm not even now the raid not, music. Not even, I didn't even turn my chat on right now. Yeah, some some raid music for you. Smooth raid. Yeah, no. I'm hoping you guys coming smooth right now. The previous uh, live bagging. Soon. Welcome to the Cali Death Podcast, everybody. <laughs> We're here. Uh, a lot of new viewers. We're very excited. That's yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, we're getting there, man. No, nah, this is the. the, the we got to pee and kiss. Just want to keep, course, man. Take your time. We got we got raid music on. Yeah, we're dude. jamming. Take your time, brother. We got Mike Leon already in the chat, letting us know that he's coming <laughs> to him. That's rad. I'd really like to see somebody shut me up and show me some earlier examples of the beginnings of new metal, other than Chaos yeah. AD before that album. Yeah, I'm, uh, anyone in the chat wants to chime in. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. Uh, I know. Casey's <laughs> Joel, 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 uh, I'm actually, yeah, I'm yeah. actually, my main, I, I my main guy I talk about new metal with is too busy trying to get Mike on. I'm doing tech support. I can't do. I can kind of do two things at once, but okay. Oh. He's here. Oh, sweet. There he is. Hello. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Figured it out. Fuck yeah. Oh, the yeah. Eagle man. has landed, dude. We did it, dude. <laughs> I should have pre-warned you guys that, like, despite the stream and uh, what may seem as a understanding of technology, I <laughs> absolutely am a Neanderthal. When as soon as it's something new, I'm like, "What is uh, this?" Because you shred, do you have like a, do you have like it. a pad or something, <clears throat> or like some sort of a like a thing that switches everything, your video and everything? Uh, I use a Rodecaster Pro. Okay. The, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's all my little like. This is Kev Muller actually. <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. It, the Neanderthal in me is just like I only have to click one button on my phone, but as soon as I have to do a, a password or some shit online, I I totally it's over. I, oh man, I, it's yeah. I start throwing. I start shitting into my hands and throwing it everywhere. <laughs> like a Neanderthal would. Can relate. I mean, you're literally you're literally in a fucking auto shop right now in the back. Fucking, you know, it's like, hey, dude, a... I'm in the I'm in the upstairs office, dude. You don't know what's up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, fuck yeah. Glad you fucking made it, man. I've yeah, been, uh, glad glad to be here. Out Thank you guys. Nerding yeah, out on your podcast for a uh, podcast, your stream for a long time, man. Um, kind of just randomly found it through just like the the links on the side and clicked it and was just like, you have that shit down, like jam into like all those six songs and you have different basses different tunings and it's just got the crowd pleasing going like hard thank you man it's uh it's been a pretty crazy two years having started the stream i gotta say you have like the best sounding microphone i think i've ever heard on this podcast like it's a uh, pretty uh, glorious I, baby. I mean yeah. you have a nice voice to it that's not oh, well, thank thing you. but <laughs> but man you know gotta say we yes sir, actually dude. it was one thing that's like having crazy like huge bands on here i was actually more nervous to have mike on because he's like a professional streamer guy and i'm like fuck dude he's got this, this shit down yeah, dude. i don't like i don't want to fuck up <laughs> I know. yeah it's like it's like yeah. playing a show right now we're like the opening band like all right dude this, this, yeah. the headliners oh, come coming on, on we, you we can't fuck around you know on the I mean? internet dude should we start the start the thing while anthony you sure dude yeah <laughs> i'm ready <laughs> yeah dude um mike we like to go back in time, bro. My my first tour ever, uh, when I was I just turned nineteen. I just got my braces off and just got out of high school, and I went on tour with my first band, The Absence, which kind of started it all. We were on the Fuck Metal yeah. Blade twenty fifth anniversary tour, with uh, it was The Absence, Goat Horror, Red Cord, Black Dahlia Murder, Fuck yeah. on the Nocturnal album cycle, yeah. and oh, wow. uh, Cannibal Corpse doing Kill. Wow, Jesus. and that was my first tour, and wow. it was like a trial That's by fire. And I got to be really good buddy. Another tour where I became like great buddies with a majority of those dudes still to this day. And uh, 
every time every time i see rob barrett out at the bar like we go drinking or something in the ebor and he's at like the reservoir bar or something they would be like yo leon you want to do a jaeger bomb <laughs> uncle ace came to town this week and i'm just like that's like code word for like you know you got that ace ventura money let's do a jaeger bomb uncle ace. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a tampa okay. that's a true ass tampa ass story right there yeah I've yeah on multiple occasions you know real quick started... shout out mersey yeah you guys got mersey's jesus mersey crew i didn't get the get memo it. yeah yeah hey man it's <laughs> all good dude i only have like four shirts in my bag right now and i don't i forget to keep switching them out so dude. i probably wore this like three weeks ago yeah, I have to like be mindful of which ones I wore because he <laughs> sent me like a gaggle of them. There's some yeah. Rotary Vortex and some Soulfly, but like if if I'm not paying attention, I will wear this shirt for like a week straight. My wife was like, "Can you wear like a regular <laughs> shirt every once in a while?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay." And then I just put on like a baseball mersey instead with <laughs> sleeves, and I'm like, "Yeah, you know, it's it's clean." Yeah, the button up. Clean. The button up. <laughs> it's a button that's i've got sleeves dude I'm, now oh, we can yeah. go out to eat yeah, yeah totally. that's my shampoo dude. steeped in like pirate uh history i mean tampa bay and and ybor city was like the key to the caribbean you know it was the oh, biggest shit. port in the southeast what was they call it uh, cigar city for a reason you know three actually we have a uh like a I don't know, maybe a cultural festival. I don't know how to label it, but we have a festival every single year in February and March called Gasparilla about a, a fictitious pirate that uh, his name is Jose Gaspar. And uh, the legend legend has it that he um, he docked his ship in the bay, the Tampa Bay, came uh, aboard at night or came on shore at night um captured the mayor at the time and and brought him back to the ship and held him hostage until that he got his way and that got Ooh. safe passage for him and his crew to like establish a trade with the people of tampa and like safe passage there so you say fictitious yeah. is is it really just a f work of fiction? it happened it i'm sh it happened but there was no actual like figurehead like jose gaspar doesn't actually so exist. he is the fictitious part of the story but the story's true right but yeah but tampa was established you know tampa was the key to um all of the caribbean the, all of the caribbean touching the mainland went through ybor city and what now is tampa and tampa bay so it's pretty it's cool trippy. it's pretty it's cool awesome. yeah we have like museums about it and stuff like that and that's, that's why everything's the buccaneers everything's pirate yeah. oriented we have a yeah. festival where it's like a parade where they redo that whole thing and and they we have a pirate ship that docks in the bay and captures the mayor and does the <laughs> whole really? thing every year and then there's parades dude there's an art festival does the, does the actual festival. mayor participate in that and he's like yes. oh okay. he does yes. oh yes <laughs> oh nice yes it's he's awesome like, right, me. dude that's, yeah that's, that's cool that's cool tampa yeah dude <laughs> we lost him they have, tampa has, yeah they're, they're, not known, they're not known for their internet um no. i was gonna say yeah uh, <laughs> it's like sounds like if tampa's the like mecca of death metal and it's the mecca of pirates yeah kind of why isn't deeds from there oh yeah <laughs> well, Jesus, he moved there in their own pirate thing but what was it mark of the legion or whatever that has like the pirate intro yeah, no yeah. reduced oh, to totally. ashes reduced to oh, reduced ashes, ashes. that's what it is yeah <laughs> deep thoughts <laughs> Oh, there he is. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, no, back, all this good stuff well, we got a great, we got a great still <laughs> shot of you for a while, though. So it's all good. <laughs> yeah, you're in deep thought. You're like <laughs> pondering <laughs> deeply. We were just talking about the this death metal pirate connection, you know. Mm -hmm. Tampa, Maybe that's actually, something. Yeah. Ooh, you might be on something there. I never yeah, even thought dude. about that before. It really is on to something, man. Yeah. They were All that about swashbuckling went to our heads, and uh... yeah, dude. 
So there's that. I never considered that. That's fantastic. I don't know if you've ever heard uh, the album by Deeds of Flesh, uh, Reduced to Ashes, but it starts with like a pirate intro thing. It's what? like the eternal oh. sea he rises. And even the first you know. song yeah. just makes you want to like, yeah, like his yeah they have this kind of thing to him. Yo ho ho stuff. It's like, and it's all like, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were they were always the death metal pirate stuff, but they're on the West Coast. When I take a gander, I have. These are the ones yeah. that I use on stream mostly, and I've mm -hmm. organized them by tuning because I've mm -hmm. been in so many different projects. Like, I've got my we call that one Old Yeller. It's like a Steve Harris like uh, classic Fender P bass. Oh okay. yeah, uh, I have that one. I have a bunch, mostly five of those basses back there are all B one thousand and fours that I just explained. One of them is my. I'll show you actually. Yeah, grab it. This one here is my custom. This is the Mike Leon 1004. Oh, so uh, sick. Man. Yeah, it's a uh, custom baby. Oh, yeah. Is that Ash? This is Ash. Yep, it's Ash Sandblasted. That's it's the only base that exists like that. ESP has never so done Is it like that matte? Blasted. It gives it a matte finish. Yeah, it's like a matte shiny that. finish, too. That's yeah. sick. And I got like the antique car cigarette lighter, oh, cigarette oh, ashtray, yeah. secret that is pretty pirate trap door for my nine <laughs> yeah, dude. I love it, dude. Yeah, uh, I love this thing. And it's it's wired, uh, hardwired, just to basically you plug it in and it's ready to go. I um, the other base has a lot of um, other attributes that I don't necessarily need. This is like a set and forget. You plug it in, you turn it on, you go. You know, I kind of oh, yeah. streamlined the electronics for this so that it would be very easy to replicate without, like, too many things going on. I'll say my favorite, top three favorite shows from that tour that we just did. Um, number one was Maryland Death Fest. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be oh, impossible yeah. to beat that. I've been telling yeah. everybody that that was probably the best, the best performance audience and experience to have seen that project in north america yep number one that was number one for me and then, i don't uh, think those songs you guys are dropping on people people are like yeah i'm down to see it and then they hear them and they're like childhood like yeah comes like rushing back to them and they're like i have yeah. to like what the fuck is going on right now you know it's like brings mm -hmm. this energy but anyways so, so number two number two would be the belasco in la Okay. I don't know if anybody heard of that one, but that uh -uh. what you were saying about like the heads hitting the floor, <laughs> there was a lot of that. There was a, <laughs> there was a lot. Uh, somebody in chat was talking about um, me getting tackled on stage. That almost happened, but it was in fact the tackler who actually got tackled by my tech. He was it was wild. It was wild. That was one of the wi most wild shows that I've ever played. I've uh seldom times of all the thousands of shows that i've played in my life have i ever been a part of something so chaotic it was mm -hmm. it was borderline like i thought at certain points of that set that we were going to lose control and the and the and the what became scary was that i was watching you know usually i'm interacting with the crowd focusing on my my performance and mm -hmm. but with that show I was watching security like at any moment becoming overwhelmed. It was like the like like you boiling water to the point it of it like spilling over. over. Like I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. like any Damn. second now it's gonna like hit Jesus. the burner and, and turn into steam, you know, like it was insane. That was an insane show insane just, just chaos everybody was just out of control uh there was no lack of security it was just uh an overabundance of energy mm -hmm. like the people were it was like it was like we were in like a room it was like the crowd was 28 days later zombies and we had like an yep. invisible force field between us and them and they just uh, wanted our brains dude like bad uh, <laughs> it was insane and to watch like the threshold of security just being like overwhelmed seeing all these people like on the radios like dude we need more help up here somebody get up here 
It was crazy. crazy. Yeah, to see those those brothers play those songs, man. I mean, like I said, like you're like, yeah, I fucking love those songs. Let's go check it out. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and you, you hear them, and then you're like, all of a sudden, it's like your whole body becomes tingly. You're like, what the fuck is going? You just turn to a zombie. Takes over. Like, yeah, you're mm-hmm. just like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> re- your brain rewires, and you're just like, must destroy surrounings. Exactly. When and Max this- tells you to fuck this place up, you fuck this place up. All right. Yeah. It's, no. It's for like sure. It's the gospel, you know, Papa yeah. Max. I'm, so you met up with. So you started fucking tour. So it's like you Soulfly, Cavalera, like. Cavalera conspiracy as well because I consider Cavalera, no, no? It's separate, separate. But no, separate but you still, you do, do you do those? Do you do Cavalera conspiracy too? There's been no Cavalera conspiracy shows since I came into the fold. Um, That's a conspiracy, dude. Yeah, uh, hey, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, the, the I don't know. Um, I don't think there is any definitive reason as to why. Okay. Um, when we did the Return to Roots tour, uh, we did like the head, uh, MTV Headbangers Ball, Winters, Masters of Rock. Yeah. Fucking mouthful. Oh, wow. Tour. Um, but we did that in 2017. And I think Psychosis by Cavalier Conspiracy had just come out. And we did play one song off of that album, but that is the extent of it. We have never toured in, in the nearly approaching eight years of being in max's bands i've never done a, a cavalier conspiracy tour okay. um i don't even know yeah because it's been all so we call this project they call this project cavalera it's just cavalera yeah, that's what i call it too and yeah. then we do you know it kind of started with max and igor presents return to roots and that's a mouthful. So yeah. when it came time to kind of, I wouldn't even say rebrand, but kind of like brand in a way, yeah. the Beneath the Remains Arise, it was returned to Beneath the Remains Arise, but then it just became Cavalera. So I just say I play with Cavalera, but Cavalera itself doesn't have um, like social tags. So Igor does it all through the Cavalera Conspiracy. Okay. It's kind of morphed into that. Dude, that's, that's, what, that's what the issue is. That's okay. why I got so fucking Look, twisted. Because I know that I plugged. I'm going to make you a pie chart, all right? We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Dude, in the beginning of this, before you popped on, I know yeah. I said Cavalier Conspiracy. I don't yeah, know. well, if you were to look, uh, if you were to keep you know, a tab on what it is that we've been up to since 2017 that's where you would find it on all okay. socials would be cavalier conspiracy i mean it's kind of funny it's kind of like a conspiracy mm-hmm. like what's going on with this it's a, yeah, it's a it's, keep a secret it's a keep it safe it's <laughs> confusing <laughs> people like wait what yeah. <laughs> so no, now you sick. see me now you don't <laughs> every great player will tell you like a good tone isn't in your gear it's in your hands you know we've heard that, and heard that when you're time, yeah. when you're mm, a bass actually- player when you're yep, a bass yep. player and you play it's even like, more so yeah classic like a classic approach uh like a i don't know i don't want to use the wrong words here but like a um i don't even know what to call it it's not like a true bass player true bass players can play with a it's pick like me. or, I'm not a true or bass a pl- you know <laughs> you, you are if you play bass you're a true i mean uh, i don't know are, if you probably. if you have you know the yearning to play it you're a bass player yeah. you want to if you're playing a bass you're a bass player i don't know yeah yeah um but if 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 you play with your fingers i guess as like as the approach that you take you have all of your tone is coming from your hands it is your fingers both no pedals nothing to hide anything you're just it's only your fucking hands Right, or like you know, a, a pick can definitely change the tonalities of uh, of playing. You know, it gives you a different mm-hmm. approach. Um, but those tonalities can also different tonalities can be achieved through your approach with your fingers. Like my fingers are unfairly calloused. Like, unfairly. Yeah. I'll tell you this: <laughs> I have I struggle f- oftentimes. Uh, just using a cell phone because my calluses are so thick. My 
my phone's like, that's not a human. <laughs> that's why not are you a trying human. to it's use like, your phone hot? Like, is that a like, sausage you, or wait, a wait, hot dog? Put, what is that? Why are you trying to put a rock on the fucking screen right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, you Check know, like, this you... out. I could play smoke on the water. How cool, how cool are the old <laughs> people of our dude. generation when we get old, dude? We're going to... It all used to be Motown and fucking old, like, 40s, 50s <laughs> shit. Now, I mean, it doesn't matter about my eyes with what I'm talking right now. Where we're going. Yeah, you I'm don't talking need about eyes my eyes. To see. <laughs> yeah, we don't need dude, eyes. Just rip it off, dude. Because if you're going down, a, if you're going, I would imagine, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but if yeah, you're playing was, what you're playing, the music that you're playing, how often do you even go up there? This seems like a. Well, I mean, it's like for a heavy part. Or something. Like I want it as like a a secret weapon to like to accent like a heavier like part a bomb more. note like something yeah, yeah. like totally. Hmm. What would you turn that to? A. A is like a lowest <sighs> note for a bass for me. I would want to bar that note and do like if you were dropped maybe because yeah like a be. so like yeah. a, it'd be A flat you do A flat so like mm. a bar okay okay so you have like an octave. All Torch right. does that. You ever heard of that band Torch from South uh, Florida? I've heard Torch. the name. Yeah, they're crazy, dude. So they have, um, they'll play in standard. What do they do? Standard tuning, <laughs> and uh, or maybe it's I'm not sure, but they're um, they tune down, and I think they're so they'll do drop, and then the the, the lowest one is uh, an octave a from e a d g b e okay, yeah, yeah. so it's like it's just like you'll be like it's just like excuse me that's what like Tosin does with the, with the when he did, got the a string he was like it's an e the low mm-hmm. string is an e but then there's another e it's like so he knows where he's at like frame of reference like can have that not a lot of bands do that now it's like just like it's a low it's like a weapon yeah, it's mm-hmm. like a weaponized low yeah. string that you can use. Like playing, you know, that's kind of like, you know, Les Claypool plays a lot of stuff in like a five string. Yeah. And he'll, you know, most of the song will be rooted in E. And then every mm-hmm. once in a while, instead of going up, it'll go. And it's just oh, yeah, like, yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Children of Bodom does that oftentimes as well. They'll be like, you know, riffing on E and playing in a lot of standard patterns. Yeah. And then when the bass times to step off what's a good example of a great song that they do uh every time i die i follow the reaper okay yeah yeah. like down 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 there's where there's a hippopotamus in the room now. What? <laughs> there's a sonic hippopotamus that just trudged into this room, please. What is uh, that? That's fucking hilarious. That's the best way to describe it too. It's like a fucking who's the elephant in the room that wasn't invited? Yeah, who's that? Who that boy? That hippo will man. fuck you up, dude, dude. Yeah, dude. dude. The hippo. We're going three and a half hours in. But anyway, I know, I know I know that no, dude, we're doing three and a half hours in. I know that fucking Mike's been to or touring streaming since like fucking since like three <laughs> this true. morning so and he's got a wife dude like we gotta let him go we gotta let him fly yeah, kiss my wife in a while I'd like oh, yeah, yeah. Well, kiss his wife. and this guy's got a wife right here with four kids or seven kids you have seven yeah kids? i get to go kiss them tomorrow night dude career but mike has come so point. far like stop trying to tear him down with kids and stuff like Jesus oh Christ, no dude. it ain't even like that. you brought up the kids you fucker <laughs> you brought him up <laughs> I want to hit the server. I apologize. <laughs> All good, man. No, All but good. that's that's for real. Do your thing as long as you can do it, bro. Yeah, that, that's the whole for thing. Sure. As I, I will quote Mr. Uh, Papa Hetfield here, you know, heavy metal is a young man's game. I'm trying yeah. to get it in while I can, you know, and I'll figure but out what's going young, on. Uh, but feeling young can also be a mental thing to a certain point, dude. And True. you can you can ride that out as long as I mean, shout out to the death metal dad Mike Hamilton. Look at that motherfucker, dude. It's Hamilton, baby. Straight up, dude. He's, he's been he has zero he's kids, right? Beating the skins. He has zero kids. Yeah, but I'm just saying for your body, 
And now we, we you brought it back to the kids. You don't even have kids. Sorry, I'm trying to read someone. I thought it, I know. I'm trying to multitask. I'm trying to like do a polyrhythm, <laughs> like oh, conversation man. and rating. Really Who should I raid, Mike? You're a guest of honor. Who should I raid? Who should we raid? Uh, let me give a little this look. This is the see. pro oh. right here, dude. You should watch Mike's fucking shit. He's fucking. He's a shredder, dude. Wait, Mega Mike is on. Is he on? Yeah. I he's right here. Channel. I can't scroll down. Oh, maybe because I have this weird filter on. Mega Mike's and playing some crazy looking Pokemon. We before thing. we raid. Because what the fuck do I not have Mega Mike? Sorry, Vince, I love Mega Vince Mike. told me last week that we have the awkward ending because we don't say goodbye or anything. You have the awkward before ending. Before the raid. Yeah. You're a part of this, so why are you saying you? Well, because I have to do it. So we're raiding Mega Mike. <laughs> okay, don't raid it until we say goodbye to the people no, that we send over. I there. say goodbye, and then you guys keep talking. No, no, no. S- the people Anyways, that are with Mike- us that we're about to send to Mega Mike. No, no, I know. M- from one mic to another, Mike. Thanks for showing up, man. This fucking. I- I'm so glad I fucking found your channel. Hey, like watch it, man. and I fucking literally watch it all the time. Whenever it pops up on my phone, I'm like sitting I'm like oh i'm gonna fucking watch this channel for a while it's fucking yeah, so much fun dope. you're just jamming all these old songs and new songs and things i i have a lot of fun just sitting here just going like at, at my computer i'm like stoked like which check out like a... gnarly add adhd whatever i'm like i'm like watching he's all oh fuck i'm like into your <laughs> shit and we got a little bit of a crossover we got a little bit of a crossover in our our fan base too yeah, yeah, we got a lot of mutual a, friends and a, a couple lot of, of people that have been like, "Oh shit, Mike Leon's coming on, dude!" Fucking... Yeah, sick. <laughs> gonna be you know, they're trying like a metaverse fucking Ozfest. Awesome, you know. I think it's. We'll I think it. It's pretty killer. Yeah, is I'd it, like to is see their avatars. It I'm out immediately. If they're like avatars, like, nah, nah, nah. It's like <laughs> I'll be doing crazy train. I'm gonna be like, go fuck yourself. Like, I want like a a virtual reality show. Is what I Throwing want. Buckets like a, of digital water on the crowd. <laughs> I want to see you the go like, crazy. <laughs> Everybody's in their room with a pass out the digital like, acid, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Past the virtual doobies. <laughs> <laughs> you're like gra- trying to grab it, like shit. It's not yeah, uh, you're in your room. <laughs> you're all, shit. Uh, well, thanks so again, sick. Mike. I, I appreciate right, it. I know it's like I had a great time. Like, it's like yeah, likewise, dude. Thanks for having right. me. You got oh, yeah, pretty deep, pretty deep yeah. combos there. I fucked it up because I'm drunk. Yeah. Jesus, I'm fucking. Yeah, I need to get off this podcast. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I'm too drunk, dude. Nice. That's fine. Mega Mike. I, was, I, I typed in Mega Drunk just now. I'm not even kidding. Well, that's, Damn, that's so you, let's get you, this. That's the universe telling you what I you're super, are. I worked so I worked 14 hour days, two days in a row, and then came on a podcast. So I'm I kind of raged a little too hard to Mega Drunk. All right. Mega Drunk. Mike. All right. <laughs> We're raiding right now. But let's wrap right. this. Hey, love let's all you guys that have been with us. Go hang out with Mega Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. him. You guys, dude, Mega oh, Mike okay. rules. I love Mega Mike. It. His bands. Gonna... I, th- I think they opened for us. It was a Soulfly tour. They opened for us in Spokane. No, not Spokane. I forget where he's from. Jesus he's a killer Christ. drummer, killer dude. Oh, no, he's We've insane. rated him a few times on our stream. No, so. I've, I've watched actually. Like his stream was probably how I like got into your stream because I was like watching him like all the Quite time, possibly. Like, that one he did like for like fucking a week long or something. Yeah, that was like, was crazy. He was like sleeping and shit, and I was like, "Hey, what's up?" I was like, trying to "So like, dope." <laughs> no, maybe yeah, it was Mike. Insane. I think I feel like it was Scott though. Scott Carstairs, maybe. Oh, Scott got us into it. Scott got us into the uh, Scott and uh, what's his uh, Max actually anomalous too because he just did our podcast and he's all I'm gonna go on Scott's um, podcast or a uh, stream and I watched that and I was like, "That's sick!" And they were trying to jam live but there's a little delay but the, yeah they're kind of making yeah. it work a little bit though and it's like, sick dude scott is the sickest we could talk oh, about yeah. scott for all day oh god i know do i go all day i'm just kidding all right thanks for uh showing up <laughs> <laughs> all right dude well, yeah guys. let's wrap it dude thank yeah. you guys so much for having me on and thanks dude, all, yeah, everybody Mike, in the chat for hanging sick, out bro. We'll you're always you welcome time. back dude let's really do anytime it. you want jo- uh, we miss uh no no he said he's doing it Casey's gone for the night. Casey's right. got the flu and had to. Pass I got. I gotta go to bed too. I love you yeah. guys. Um, yeah, likewise, man. Thank you guys so oh, yeah. much. We had a great time. All right, come back next week. We'll be here. All right, Rock it out. Bye. Bye.